Hello, and welcome to the Sheep Seats. It is Friday night. I am your host, Matthew, a.k.a. Sheep, a.k.a. Dark Sheep. And we are, uh, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get into it. We're going to join a seventh inning stretch draft. Ooh, I made this custom layout. Make me a little bit bigger. What's up, everybody? We got, oh, waiting for two people. That's perfect. I don't have to wait forever tonight. Didn't really prepare anything tonight. Been a long, I guess it's a short week this week. How's everybody doing? I hope you are doing well. It is warm here, finally, in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And, uh, yeah, getting out. It's... As I am honored to be joined by uh, Free Rolls DFS, who uh, uh, I don't know when I uh, first encountered him online, but he's he's another one of those uh, people that are uh, you, f- you see all over the place. So I'm absolutely happy to be joined by him. He does some uh, esports, League of Legends sort of projections that he's not uh that he tells you not to use he shares them out there on twitter if, if that's your uh that's your thing i know originally uh he pretty much uh cataloged every uh free roll on dfs for a while so that's pretty fun waiting for one person waiting for one person oh i don't know Something something about when that weather finally hits summer and, well, I guess school's letting out now. Today was my son's last day of school. My wife's done for the summer for her teaching job. And now uh, something, something, you know, that, that winter comes off, unsettles. <sighs> so, yeah, we need one more person. One more person. They will go. Oh, we are full. Excellent, excellent. What's up? We are full. We got the sixth pick, which means we will get um, one of these outfielders at the start, which is excellent. Tweet that we're live. So I'm going to try something here that uh, I haven't tried. Let's see if it's going to work. Found some random supposedly uh, free music. Copyright free. So uh, let's see. I don't know what I was looking for, but... uh, Something interesting. Hey, what's up, Terrence? Bear eighty one. Big shot at 11. Yep, that. Big shot at Music, you know. 
Tough choice here. Um, New Jordan. Uh, just, um, continue my own county page from the trailers. Let's do this. Uh, that's good or bad, but I don't like how you have Gypsy here. Just missed the Garrick. We, we didn't have to wait long. Glad you are here now. Oh, we got. What do we got going on? Here? Guys, right? Do I? This person. Hold for this thing. Offense right now. Hold for this. I gotta catch the nano. And go blue is here. I missed the word on the start. We'll get the place here and do a yoke. So do you, I hope you didn't mm. Yeah, I don't have I haven't played a ton of people at but... Okay, this is actually I can't use it. We'll turn it down. I'll tell you what I'll do quick here. We're gonna do some uh production on the fly here. Yes, no, I was tr I'm trying this music thing for the first time. That isn't the the built in. The, isn't the built in music to uh, Streamyard? Okay, awesome. <laughs> should I should I start doing that? My uh, is my catchphrase. Should I do that at like the start of a stream? Just start making cheap noises. Would that be weird. I think that'd be weird. All right. What's everybody up to you? Yeah. Count Accomplished some, uh, Door test. No, Eric, we are we are getting spicy here tonight. I had uh, I have almost no exposure to him in the regular season, uh, and he's he is living up to the hype. Um, I like that Arizona team. With crappy, um, try to get try to get some partners with them. Take McCarthy's back <laughs> uh, and showing off the wheels um, like we had hoped when we were drafting him in the regular season draft. Um, Kamalte's managing not to get injured his hamstrings yet. Um, Creole Junior's been a surprise there. They just got, they got a pretty nice lineup that's firing. 
He's definitely a fun player to watch. One of those guys you hope that, well, you don't hope that anybody gets hurt, but one of those guys that it feels extra, extra worse when he gets hurt. All right, what do we got going on here? We got a couple of cold fillies on the top here. Trey Turner and Kyle Schwarber are here if we want to try and put them together. Jose Ramirez, who was like a first rounder in the regular season, it just got taken at 29. Mm, All right. We'll take our guy Austin Riley here. Uh, I think as long, as long as he's getting on base, he's going to get playing time. Because um, then he can steal. Uh, we can't expect like power or anything out of him. But as long as he's getting on base, he's going to get playing time. Whether that happens, I don't know. Like, did he correct something when he got sent down to AAA? I don't, I don't know. All right, we got Austin Riley there. Cedric Mullins is an interesting guy. Um, he'll probably get, he'll probably fall a little bit here um, with this uh, 10-day IL stint. Um, groin strain, that's kind of, that's kind of a scary one. One of those uh, muscles that can linger. Those strains can linger that, um, but if we're going to get some value on him now, if you want to get some of him now, um, I mean, we still have, we still have over a month draft. Uh, so he comes back in a couple of weeks and he's good. He's going to go right back to where he was before. So maybe grab him now. If we uh, do big shots. Like I said, is in all these drafts, grabs him. Burns gave up some runs tonight again, but uh, he didn't get blasted, at least, in Cincinnati. That's good. That's good. Oh, you know what? We, uh, we got to do this. Here. There we go. This, this uh, music was uh, required a uh, just uh, a simple shout out on the stream. So, Put that on there. Uh, grabbing this off this guy's YouTube channel. So, a bunch of weird stuff. I found the, uh, I don't know, hard to match since music to baseball draft. I thought, but, you know, something different. All right, what do we got going on here? Kyle Schwarber at 41 feels, feels nice. You are the one getting him in beats up, uh, which maybe he does. Hope he does. Gypsy hopes he does. Phillies are really an interesting team this year. ADP seems a little out of whack. This does up. I was hoping to get Luis Castillo there. Um, but we are going to take Manny Machado. Where'd he go? There he is. He was back. Soon. So once he starts playing again, he's gonna rise up. So nice to grab him now. We got a big, we got a big mix of guys here. Yeah, Eric liked uh, Castillo and Javier. Um, I would have been fine with Javier there. Um, I did want Castillo to come back to me. We need these pitchers here. You're paying for them. Uh, I think they're worth the picks here. Yeah, even even if Manny thinks when, he, uh, when he's back now, he's, he's going to rise back up just because he's playing again. But he might he might have checked out after the contract. Who knows? I doubt it. Philly stink. Yeah. Zach Wheeler got blown up again tonight. Aaron Nola is pitching without a couple of miles per hour. Not good. Not good for sure. But 
it's a long season. We're like a third over. Memorial Day has passed. That's kind of like that first point where everybody's like, you know, we can start believing in our team or not. But the team start uh, analyzing more. If they're going to be sellers or buyers at the trade deadline. There goes the, with the, the Robert. Love the start. This is excellent. Just some big bats to start. You can start some instant pitchers as you go. But, um, really nice. Mike the Scherzer goes there, who is uh, on some magic again. Yeah. So this is really interesting because with the added uh, couple of games in the wild card series, uh, some of these guys played like you know the most games they've ever played in a, at least in a MLB season. So there's just a bunch of just a bunch of random stuff. I don't think I don't think they stink. They're just stinking. That makes sense. <laughs> The scariest thing about Phillies is Nola uh, losing the um, Vila on his fastball uh, because um, that's pretty key. Where he sits with his fastball is already on the low side. So if he's losing speed on that, he's, he's already he's already on the edge of um, how his fastball, um, how good his fastball was because of the speed being relatively low to other pieces of that well, where the losing a little bit of Hilo for him is a lot more important than like say somebody between 97 and going down to 96. Alright, we're gonna grab our guy. Christian Yelich. Just uh, keeps plugging along. Steal here. Home run there. Nothing to write home about, but you want to talk about a team that stinks uh, is the Brewers offense. Relying on Owen Miller and a bunch of a bunch of some young guys hoping to step up and guys that are supposed to be hinting, hitting in Tellez and uh, now Mace who's out with that scary concussion. But they they kind of think. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, his trip, you know, trade didn't, wasn't coming off the long World Series run uh, like the other teammate, like his teammates now, uh, or his new teammates on the Phillies were. So that is uh, interesting. That if if those extra games before the season sapped him, I don't know. He was hitting well. Uh, I've always liked him. I, I felt he was always underrated because of that fastball velocity thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I definitely understand where you're coming from. Reaching on glass now, uh, depends on how far, um, how far you're reaching. Um, it, it, because you know it's it's the whole thing when we were here talking in the preseason, we were trying to grab Chris Sale as we could before he started pitching. Who's now? Who knows how long he's out for? But uh, yeah, definitely want to get Glass now. Now if he comes back and pitches well, he's he's not going to stay at the price he is. Yeah, another thing that this it probably all these things like piling up on top of Trey. You know? contract pressure I, I'm not worried about him <laughs> this is the key is not to watch your home team that's my that's my method my madness all right let's get let's grab uh Xander Bogarts here to go with Machado um, and let's start filling our queue with some with um, that partner here.
Padre are another interesting team that are underperforming. And it's it's hard to want to add any of these late Padres in with that core of stars. Yeah, I, I uh, that that one's gonna that's one of those that's gonna super hurt for me in the regular season. Early fifties. Is he going? Sixties. Oh yeah. Definitely. Which is well, he's gonna be maybe up in the forties and whatnot. Definitely. Definitely fine with that. Houston's another team that feels pretty gross adding on your stack partners at the end. You almost want to stack some better players on worse teams. Uh, yeah, Glass, that might be early, but I think he'll he'll at least be there if he's pitching well. what we're trying to get here. I'm not going to mention it. Rest of our stack partners. So there he goes there at 74. Oh, that's crazy ADP. Not bad. Like, if he's going to keep doing, hitting like he's hitting. Jessica Minker. That's pretty offensive. Yeah. Underperforming already. I mean, we're already not going to perform super great. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see if we get who we want here or if Stealth X Shot Z22 takes him. It is interesting to see Michael Harris drop this far uh, and think that maybe he hasn't dropped enough. Well, and there goes Michael Harris, and we get our guy. We get Woody here, who uh, should be back in plenty of time by the time this uh, tournament starts. And uh, this uh, ADP is egregious if he's going to be Brandon Woodruff. I am very happy. I always, I always see him, and I hope he falls back to the best. Good, uh, good spot. Maybe I should start reaching on him a little bit more, but hard to pass up some of these uh, infield versions. Of infield versions of infield. Yeah, we can keep talking about please. They're probably going to get Luke Voigt now. <laughs> that Brewers released him to add him to the, the mix with the uh, uh, bone injured. Yeah, there's, it's like. Same. Same. The thing is, he is not dead. He should be back. When this tournament starts, at least. Chipsy going with the Carlos right on. Oh, Brandon's with it. I don't know what this means. I'm going to pretend like that's a good one. That's your favorite movie. <laughs> A few different guys here. 
plan. Here, see what happens. Oh, yes, yes. That's exactly it. It's a nostalgic synth wave, retro wave mix by this guy, Carl Casey, on the bottom. All right. There we go. I agree, Eric. Two reason value. Happy to have him as a second picture there. He just had a massive performance. I'm, I, yeah, there's a second time, I think you know Ryan got so little bit more, that sounds out now. Uh, you got 20th round in, in this, in this, uh, contest, what you mean? I'm I'm happy to find any uh, if you come up with any good baseball music. I just was searching for uh, copyright free stuff, and that's what I came up with the channel with that. I don't know the movie Good Time. I'll have to look that one up. I have seen Drive. Uh, I'm. I am doing seven or eight. <laughs> I know that doesn't answer your question, but um, for the most part, I'm doing this. Uh, I'm drafting uh, a lot of position players early. Um, I talked about that with Nez last week. Um, it's partially a combination of trying to build up potential pitcher injury or uh, lineups that can survive potential pitcher injuries better than the sixes, more of the sixes I was doing in the regular season. Yeah, I was uh, trying to branch out outside of the built-in song. Hunter Green going here, I think, is a, is a fun pick. Oh, okay. The Safety Brothers. Excellent. I'll have to look for that one. Definitely, yeah. Uh, I definitely want to uh, seek out more of their movies after Uncanny Gems. That was just like, uh, that was that was a movie. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. All right, we're gonna reach here for an Arizona partner. We missed out on uh, Christian Walker. Yeah, definitely five pitcher. I mean, even some of my seven pitchers builds are down like three or four pitchers. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, they definitely, the uh, Safety Brothers definitely have uh, like this, this ability to just like keep pushing. Not like, not like a, a Star Wars movie, for example. It's just like, they're always running everywhere. And it feels like that nonstop set of sequences of action and stuff and everybody's running everywhere marvel movies are the same but like these guys get that get like a different feeling of, of action but just like well i'm just going off on touch i don't think i've seen anything else Now we're looking at him again. Oh, I have not. Definitely have to figure out where to watch that one. Yeah. 
And some are planning their summer adventures. Upstairs, I can hear them. Me, I'm going to work, but they can enjoy their summer off break. All right, what do we got going on here? Are you interested in another outfielder here? <laughs> yeah, um, T Bear took Senga pretty uh, a little bit earlier. Definitely like that pick. Uh, we're getting good games out of him. We're not getting every game a good game, but he's showing out in games, which is important. For best ball. And have to be our winning this every game. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, Eloy to stay healthy. All right, let's do it. We're going to take Hunter Renfro here. Definitely, definitely agree completely. We know Chip, I know Chip has plenty of Senga. He actually got sniped out on here. T Bear took him. Give him two starts every week. Run him into the draft. Let's need something. Whoa, it has been a crazy season. <laughs> you haven't you haven't seen me draft these yet. Uh yeah. Uh I'm doing a lot of eight pitcher builds. Um, and hoping I don't lose to a Spencer Strider right off week, uh, two star week. See, this is, this is what I'm telling you. The key to enjoying baseball is to not watch your team play. You can watch any other team. I'm sure you, I'm sure you got guys you want to watch every day when you're drafting dailies, playing DFS. You can still sweat those things. Then you just don't watch your team. You just sort of follow along the box scores after, and your life's a lot easier. Yeah, we'll uh, we can fill in some pictures here. You might not be very excited by my uh, my pictures, but we'll fill some in. We'll get some, but I think uh, as far as like uh, Woodruff, Kirby go, they can easily be top twenty pitchers in the in a, in a contest like this. Like I don't think you know the short time period that these guys could stand, or I do think that these guys could stand out well enough to really make up second, third round, fourth round value. Yeah, I always end up watching a lot of West Coast baseball because that's usually the time I get to, you know, set up and end up watching a lot of those games. That's why I like drafting the late stuff too. Yeah, or you, you here's, here's the way to take it to the extreme. We're gonna, we're not gonna wait here. We're gonna keep going on our Arizona stack and get Marte. 
Carol Uriel Marte. I like that combo. Um, yeah, this now this is this is the next level where you watch every one of your uh, save opportunities and at bats for your uh, all of your season. Yeah, and I, I don't know if he's. I'm, I'd be more worried that. Not that he re-injures it, but that he's just bad when he comes back. Yeah, Eric, I've I've increased my stack sizing from preseason uh, into uh, this uh, contest because it's so much shorter. I'm um, hoping to catch a couple of hot weeks out of a whole team um, and getting that correlation, the correlation based on like compact of the deal. Compared to the season long one that we were drafting before, I really liked increasing my correlation level on my team. Yeah, I, I'm kidding, of course. You enjoy it. I'm, I'm sure if you're just passionate about it, you're enjoying it. There's nothing wrong with that. I just know. <laughs> Especially when the uh, team, my team is the Brewers, and they're just like mediocre year after year now. And they don't want to spend what they need to spend, or like actually go for it. They're just trying to be mediocre every year and make the wild card. Just not worth it. Um, there's just been the update on Green Stress Fracture. That doesn't sound good. No time. That's what Go Blue was saying in the Ed Rose channel, the other Discord channel. No timeline. All right, we're currently two, four, five. Uh, not draft just for more all at this price. That is for sure. Rance is okay here. Uh, Bader's hurt again. Surprise, surprise. All right, we are going to take Severino. Another guy that, uh, if he's healthy, can uh, put up top 25 scores or top 10 scores, 10-25. That's uh, that's pretty nice. The the Guardians are uh, actually worse, have a worse offense than the A's right now, which is saying something. So, I th uh, right, uh, Minnesota played. I didn't do much. Uh, I didn't do any drafting today actually, for dailies. But I think they played the Guardians. Yeah, and the it's. It's all about the ownership and you know the market that Milwaukee is, it's it's big. It's or it's medium market, right? It's not uh no team like people watch all across the state of Wisconsin. It's not just like just Milwaukee or nobody south, but like Chicago's or whatever. So it's a fine market and people like baseball and people go to the games. The stadium atmosphere is great every time you go, unless it's the Cubs game, and then all the Cubs fans come. To the, uh, but they have built a team. Uh, basically, the 2000, what, 2009, 2000, somewhere around there, uh, when they made the playoffs for the first time in like forever after being terrible. They have never had, they have never been forced to like really push in all the chips. Uh, they're just trying to maintain that. Yeah, even J Ram is scuffling a little, but um, it's pretty, it, yeah. I don't think he's scuffling on the ninth pick, but I get it. You know? All these names that are going before him, I get why they're going before him. Um, 
but pretty crazy. Actually, this whole infield section, Corey Seager to Bo Bichette, seems pretty crazy to be going here. And this this actually, uh, the, this group is a good example of why I have a hard time hitting a pitcher in this group. It's because of the upside of, let's take it all the way down to uh, Lindor um, as an example. Like the, the, uh, the total points scored on this group of infielders is so high that like the potential is so high that it's I just have a hard time taking any of these pictures that are they're good yeah but um, there goes Zardo he was also on my target um all right we are going to take Take an absolutely disgusting pick, Blake Snell. Because, uh, I don't know, maybe he turns into Blake Snell. No, he's he is pitching like Blake Snell. He's just pitching like the bad parts of Blake Snell most weeks. So, what if, what if he's the guy you need and he starts pitching like good Blake Snell by the time this comes? Like, I don't think there's anything different. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just pitching like the bad person. So. Yes, he is absolutely infuriating to watch pitch. Yeah, Alonzo Freeman first round. Like, it, it's really easy to like those guys. Um, the, the context that it's you know miss when you there's like there's two things going on in your brain when you look at them you see them and you see these guys that are some of the best hitters in the team and you see them dropping later than you think so you're you're seeing this like high upside of total points that these guys have and just like the total skill level that these guys have but you're missing the contact or the, the second thing that's going on in the brain is that you feel like a lot of input in the pool. So you get this group of outfielders and pitchers that also have high upside for the position. So it's really easy to like those early people because of the total. Lots to say about Blake Snell. Other than, uh, I'll, I'll just, I think I'll just take it. And hope we get version of good work. It is becoming really hard for me to take any Rowdy until has. He's like losing. Viewers are doing as well. It's really extreme for team lineups. A lot of righties. Man, it's really hard to take it. Here's another guy. We're just we're just gonna pile these. Uh, old pitchers together that well ignore George, George Kirby in this but uh, we're gonna put these veteran pitchers that have um, likely a bunch of sneaky starts along with some good starts but the key to all these guys is that they will be starting even if they have a couple of shaky starts these guys uh, the teams need them to pitch so where starts aren't going on, they have some bad That's why I like these guys. Okay. 
kind of interesting Trevor Story pick who is going to play short, shortstop, which is apparently news. Uh, we know Kiki Hernandez cannot play shortstop, so uh, I guess uh, uh, Manuel Valdez had him playing shortstop. I don't know. It is interesting um, doing daily drafts. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a lot of days that the Bo Boston as a team stack is is pretty popular in projecting well. Um, so having these couple of pieces like uh, the potential of Trevor Story coming back and being good, Justin Turner, um, who else is here, just sort of hanging around Duran late if you want to put it in you know uh, Yoshida is definitely moved up Verdugo is uh, kind of cooling off and settling in Adam Duvall should be back who was on fire um, I, I need to look into Adam Duvall He's, I should put him on a list of guys I need to look into was sort of skeptical of what he was doing, but need to look at some of the, the metrics and whatever. The metrics and whatever. That's that's the incredible analysis I'm gonna get. He feels like a steal at that ADP. I, and I get why you're saying that based on what he was doing. But I have such a hard time based on what he was the last couple of previous years um, and knowing how to believe the small sample of hot uh, before the injury uh, is, is that make up for uh, the, the, the decline that we saw. Um, We get Marcelo is gonna ah uh, crap. Oh well. One we're gonna close up shop on our outfielders there. Just too busy nagging on him Duval that I get Marcelo Zuna. But put him with Austin Riley and yeah, let's get these outfielders out of our queue. You're gonna stop there. We've spent so much on there. I was thinking definitely maybe we could go with five on this lineup, but we're going to go with six. So now we got five pitchers. Pretty good core, I like. Um, I was thinking about Jake Cronenworth there. Um, I don't love taking uh, or putting three of the six infielders on the same team. Kind of have a hard time knowing how um, how that works out in like your scoring on a weekly basis. I don't know. That might be overthinking. Um, but like you kind of want at least two standout uh, scores out of the three of your guys scoring for the week. So if you're relying on one team um, maybe they have Maybe they, let's see, it's, it's, I mean, if they go to Coors, then you're, you're happy, but they go to, I'm trying to think, I mean, they have a, they have a homestand. Padres have a pretty, pretty pitcher friendly part. So, I don't know. We might come back to it. He did last time. He 
Eugenios. My name is A. Eugenio Suarez. This is a good pick here. There goes Cronenworth, so that's fine. Royce Lewis is on his way up. After a couple of home runs. But we're getting we're getting We're getting our crews on here. We're getting spicy. Put a little hot sauce on that. That Pittsburgh hot sauce. I don't know what voice that is or what that joke was, so I apologize to anyone who was offended by it. All right, so we got five, five, six. We got four picks left. We're not taking another outfielder. Uh, taking Cruz might lead us to a sixth infielder, or we might bang on three pitchers here. <laughs> I was doing the impression of Ness's weird uncle. You know, I'm I'm not gonna take that. Nez has no weird uncles, I'm sure. He's the weird uncle of that family. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. I might have 30% O'Neill Cruz. He seems like a really interesting pick. I don't know. He just showed first of all. He showed the improvement on the strikeout. That was, you know, that was his problem. And he showed improvement. It wasn't a factor if he could hit the ball or if he could smash it really hard. We knew that. But uh, he showed improvement. Uh, could have been a small sample sort of thing that uh, it was going to go up if it was healthy. But uh, we, we saw an improvement on the thing that we we're worried about. So I'm gonna check in on okay, with the going for a little bit of a Toronto stack at the beginning here. I like that. Randy. Who is leveling off but still should perform well this season. Yoshida, El Tuve. Rizzo, I love these players. Urias is, um, you know, he's fine. Don't love him. Um, Ivaldi's good. That price on him, Ivaldi's crazy. Um, Morton. Uh, I am avoiding Brian just because back heel problems. I just, I'm just not buying him. Uh, if I could get Michael Harris, let's see. if I could get Michael Harris, eh, one or two rounds later, that's when I'll be in. There's just other guys there I would rather have. All right, well, we are on the clock. are going to take Taj Bradley who uh, the way that the Tampa Bay pitchers are going are going to probably need him to stick around um, saw today that Josh Fleming is joining the uh, Tampa Bay pitchers on the IL we didn't see how long or uh, what exactly but, um, yeah he uh, reads out well in, in the models uh, for uh, stuff. The Eno model for stuff. Um, yeah, I like it. We already got this core of guys that I like, so I'm definitely comfortable taking some risks here. Um, so we got two picks left. What are. Who? Rex Brothers and Kyle Dowdy? What are these ADPs? Who's taking these people? Jake Arietta has an ADP? What is going on? He's retired. 
Nick Simlin? What? These must not be firing. So people take it. No, I'm I'm pretty anti Mikulasny. I don't like pitched contact guys, especially for a, a format that, um, you know, Framber Valdez is the standout guy in this case. Um, seriously, who's taking Marietta? He's retired. Giant. Oh, I you know I didn't. I meant to go back and watch their last draft. He took all of those guys. That's why they have ADPs. That's weird. Well, I mean that's good value for everybody else that drafted, I guess. But okay, all right. That makes sense why these guys have ADPs because there's not a ton of these drafts firing, and I don't know how. Off of this stuff's updated. I love Vargas here. I still think, I still believe Vargas is going to be the key to that Dodgers offense long term. All right. But, uh, we need a pitcher here. I think. There's a lot of guys here. Gray, Tyon, Carrasco's here. He's uh, showing a little bit of life. I don't love him. Based on how his body holds holding up. Um, all right, we're gonna take another spicy one here. Yo, he's not in the pool. Bobby Miller's not in the pool. Just never mind then. We're not taking Bobby Miller. Well. We're gonna take an infielder. Take uh, Luis Urias. Um, to go with our Yelich pick, who uh, should be back soon. I'm likely to return this week. Next, really next week. Okay. But as the last outfielder. Last infielder, I don't mind him. I do have a lot of questions about his hamstrings and soft tissue, but continuous soft tissue injury. Come on, no, not this guy is not this hitter that he is right now. We are not taking him in contact. That is a big mistake. He is not who he is acting like right now. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Ron is an okay pick. Is he down here? Is Bobby Miller not in here? He's not in here. That's too bad. I guess he should have an MVP if he wants. All right. Um, Paxton, I don't mind. I want to take a bet on him. Staying healthy, pitching well. Uh, I love Drew Smiley here. He's going to still pitch Chicago as long as he's healthy. And we've seen him put up the games. is an interesting pick. I'll take Kyle Gibson here. Trevor Rogers is coming back soon. Like none of these guys are great. There's a lot of risk in all of these guys. Um, but the key is to find a guy that is on a team that needs pitchers. <laughs> if they're if they're bad and it's they're not going to get kicked out. Like Kyle Gibson, I don't see Baltimore like with as much as Grayson was struggling with um, tipping pitches or whatever. Those of them might not with him. I haven't looked into that, but I guess 
and this Grayson was like taking his pitches based on the arm. So, like they're using Hawkman data on his arm movements. I don't know. Who else we got here? I'll take some Patrick Corbin, who, as long as he's healthy, he's going to pitch. It's gross, I know. Ty, Jack Flaherty's here. I'm not. I'm not in on Wayne right? There's just a ton of guys here that could pitch two start weeks in the playoffs. Um, and based on how I've been doing these, uh, I, uh, I could take my own Jake Arrieta. Here's this, here's one. No, not uh, who am I thinking? Let's do it. He is coming back soon. He was my guy last year. Reeks Google. There you go. There's your pick of the night. Right there. Your secret dark sheep pick of the night. You need like a, a hit for that. You need uh, like a video. Your secret pick of the night. Reeks Google. It was the guy last year. Go oh, Blue knows what I'm talking about. He was uh, he was inconsistent last year, but uh, living a lot. Uh, he, but yeah, then he got hurt. Uh, but he had some. He had a good period of the last season. Uh, and of all the guys that Detroit produced, he seemed like uh, the best out of those people, prospects. Uh, I'm not going to take a guy that has uh, Grasmussen's uh, health history and now I'm just added to it. Just like two Tommy John surgeries already. It's just, he's, if he comes back, he's going to be like, he's not going to be long. Yeah, I'm just out. Yep, yeah. Uh, Drake School, he'll, he'll need like a full month. You know, he's coming off of. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. It wasn't full time I don't think. But he'll, he'll need a full ramp up for you. But when this tournament starts, he should be in that rotation. And if uh, Detroit needs anything, it needs guys to put. Uh, you know what I mean? They need guys. Oh, we got one more pick. Why did I think we were done? Don't know why I thought it was done. All right, so what do we got? Riley Machado, Bogarts, Marte, Cruz, Yuri. Yeah, I, d I don't think I want to add another position player. I think I like where we're at. Chip has three guardian pitchers. At least it's not three guardian hitters. <laughs> uh, Lance McCullers uh, had another setback. I was taking him, and now I'm scared, I'll be honest. I'm scared off McCullers. Let's do it. Let's. I can't do it. <laughs> I almost, I almost got Grace in there. Um... Ah, crap. Well, we just built our super Atlanta stack of guys we didn't want. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Cabrera. Edward Cabrera. 
hesitated and you uh, here's your uh streamer EV tonight. All right, uh cool. Uh that's excellent. I'm so happy we fired that off quick and get a nice lively discussion. Well, not everybody got into the draft, but got a bunch of friends here in our draft. So, um, yeah, I think, I think we will cut it there. We've been here for an hour. Um, might jump into a uh, one of these after. Appreciate it. Uh, the next one to see if it fires, but uh, we'll shut down the stream. Just go run through the team here. We got a uh, pitching staff with Brandon Woodruff, George Kirby, Luis Severino, Blake Snell, Jose Barrios, Taj Bradley, and Tariq Scooble. Our infield is Austin Riley, Manny Machado, Xander Bogarts, Gettle Marte, Pal Marte, O'Neill Cruz, Luis Urias, Lando Arcia. Not a guy I want, but cool. And our outfield is Jordan Alvarez, Colton Carroll, Christian Yelich, Lord Gabriel Jr., Hunter Renfro, and Marcel Oz, who is, uh, is, is a guy that I do like. I don't like him as a guy. He's a terrible person. But I think he's a mild boy. So, looks like my game's are really a little bit. Uh, yeah, let me know. You know. Let me know if you like the music or not. You don't have to tell me right now, but uh, you can find me online. Very good draft yourself. Uh, you see me online. Let me know what you thought about the music or whatever. No, we don't have to do that. But just try to fill some of the silence. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Have a good weekend, and uh, I think we'll see you next week.